Hello, Lola. So welcome back to my channel. Today, there's no baby in my arms, okay? So I am going to just talk to you guys for a minute, if that's okay. Some of you guys, you have to see a baby in my arms, and I get it. Maybe this is not a video for you. But I just wanted to come on and kind of just, just talk to you guys. Um, so my next couple videos are going to be probably all over the place. Because I'm kind of like going through the journey of the excitement that goes into expecting a new baby, a new silicone doll or a reborn doll. Um, it's not quite always like such a big deal. Like we don't run out and like redecorate our whole house and all this stuff for a new baby, build a whole new nursery, you know, but... Um, not every time, but for me, um, I know this might sound crazy to you guys, but to me, um, the babies that I choose to display in my bedroom is actually <laughs> like accessories, right? So sometimes I like to actually incorporate my home, my room decor matching the like their uh bassinets like uh when i when i bought the first bassinet for my room for uh a special baby that i was expecting um i i bought it because i i thought it would blend in with the decor of my bedroom um I like a very vacation-like bedroom or a very relaxed, chill. I'm a earth tone person. I like browns and neutral colors and soft blues and sands, like the water, like the ocean, you know, um, nature. I like I like that kind of feel. So I was like, okay, so I got this bassinet. Um, my daughter fell in love with the bassinet that I had, and when of course, when she uh, she was pregnant and, you know, caught up in that excitement, we did this little challenge. And I said, if you, you know, if you, you know, win the challenge, I will buy you the same bassinet. So I did. And um, she, <laughs> it was a quite expensive, um, expensive one for me because I am very cheap. Most of my baby furniture is usually like on the cheaper size went side when it comes to like bassinets and rockers and stuff like that i usually catch them on sale I use a bunch of coupons that type of thing um or i've had them for quite some time uh but i was like i said i was expecting a very special baby at this time when i bought the first bassinet and then the second one I actually bought for my grandson and he absolutely did not like it. He did not want to sleep in it. He did not like it. So um, my daughter was like, mom, I'm getting him a crib and I just want you to come and get this. So I was like, okay, fine, great. It was perfect timing, right? Because I'm expecting Jaden. And so I went and I picked it up and um, so I, I decided to set it up and so now when that come me because I love to decorate like my house and stuff like that I was like you know what I need new bedding I need you know I need new bedding I need new stuff I need it to be refreshed in here because a new baby is coming right um so that's 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 part of what I do behind the scenes I also like really really um love placing a baby on my bed after my bed is all made up in like a um what you call it a baby lounge or a uh boppy and you know a nice blanket that blends in with the decor of my room and the baby have on either something that complements the bedroom or either like the baby itself blends in nicely with the bedroom <laughs> if that makes sense like the baby has to look extremely real to sit on my bed. Like it cannot be one that's like, eh. I need when I walk in the room to be like, oh, or 
someone else to come by you know my mom to stop over or family member and it's like who baby you know i need that 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 factor um but some of the essentials that i typically buy before i even get a baby if i'm expecting a baby from someone else and not myself like um just because i don't i'm not sure of the skin tone because you know cameras and computers and all that stuff they all have different settings and these babies look so different when you get them home right so just to be on the safe side I learned to kind of not really go overboard with specific outfits so I always I'll buy like socks booties like the hats um Gabby can you tone it down a little bit um edit that out Okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> socks, booties, uh, onesies, like basic onesies, you know, um, blankets, uh, pacifiers, um, diapers. I don't have to buy diapers anymore uh, unless I see a print that I really, really like that I, d I don't have. Um, da -da 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 if it was my first time expecting a silicone baby or you know a reborn I would buy like a baby like a goat hair brush baby brush I love those I also love the like baby uh soft toothbrushes for like edges and stuff like that um KY is great for like the pacifiers putting pacifiers in and out if I didn't have that here but I kind of have these things here um so now with Jaden, you guys, if you haven't figured out or don't know, Jaden is basically the Everett sculpt that I worked on. Um, he is actually done. His painting is done. Um, basically, he's just waiting his turn to get his hair rooted. And I am actually enjoying him behind the scenes. You guys will get to see him eventually. I have taken approximately about 300 photos of him already. <laughs> but I am not, of course, I'm not going to bombard y'all with that many photos. But I will get to start to showing him a little bit at a time. A little bit, a little bit. As we, you know, go on. Um, so I just thought I would take you guys on a journey of how it is. Sometime when I'm expecting a really special baby, I do go all out. I do, you know, um, buy new uh, accessories like bedding and um, new beds. Like um, like if I didn't have a bassinet for him or somewhere for him to place, I would. Um, a lot of people, I get a lot of people say like that's not in the hobby. Like uh, family members, why, why do you put them in, you know, regular, why do you buy cribs and real fur baby furniture for these dolls? Um, because they're so lifelike, you just don't want to just lay them in a, in a, in a, a basket or something. Um, some people may, but that's just not something I want to do. Um, also, it's a display, you know. Uh, it's the same thing as when you buy that fake fruit. <laughs> Never thought of this until today. But, um, you know when you buy fake fruit, right? Um, and fake plants. You don't just like take the fake fruit and just throw it in your closet. Like you bought it to display it. So you actually literally put it in a nice bowl, a nice dish. Even though you're not going to eat that fruit, you still put it in a bowl. So that's the same thing with the dolls. Even though they're not real, we still put it in a real setting because that's the best way to show it off, right? Um, so I do sometimes go out and I'll buy accessories and I will buy... What else? Some of the, I, I rarely buy big ticket items. I spend most of my money on my dolls itself. Um, a, when I buy a doll, a lot of times, you know, not all the time, but when I do buy myself a doll that's from another artist, especially these days, it tends to be a very expensive one because of the level of artistry that I like it usually costs me more um, because if if a painter is on the same level as I am or in my eyes I consider them to be in the same level as me um, then 
I'm usually not gonna go and buy their work unless they do a specific kit, a specific way that just really pulls me and I just want it. Or I have a admiration for that artist as an individual. I want a piece of their art in my collection for sentimental purposes, then I may. But otherwise, the type of work that I like on my dolls are is so advanced, right? It's stuff that I feel like I haven't really fully mastered or accomplished or in a specific skin tone that I don't do. And so um, it tends to cost me a lot. So I tend to put my kid, not my kids, my, my fake kids, my, my, my reborns and silicones that I buy, I tend to put them in really basic clothes um very inexpensive clothes i shop clearance occasionally i do shop you know brand names occasionally i do splurge a little bit on an outfit and me splurging on an outfit is like paying twenty dollars for an outfit which i know is like just the norm for most people um typically i like to spend under ten dollars an outfit uh, that's just my style do i frown on other collectors that spend fifty sixty dollars for a sleeper absolutely not i i i actually enjoy watching a lot of my friends and other collectors that actually buy these beautiful boutique like clothing and stuff like that i think it's beautiful and especially if the baby is beautiful and the clothes is beautiful whoa it's like a plus um but at the same time um it's not really always my style. Occasionally, I like to put my babies in that. But, but then that's, that's also, um, like I have one friend um, in the community. She dressed her babies really fancy, but she said she also dressed her real child like that too. I think it also comes from different cultures and different backgrounds. We um, have different traditions of, you know, and, and things that... You know, oh, when they're younger, I keep my babies in sleepers and comfort clothes. But some some people, their family and the way they're brought up is like ruffles and lace and tights and, you know, everywhere they go type thing. Shoes from the day they're born, they're in shoes. Um, so, yeah, so we all have different styles and stuff and that's what makes it very um, fun. It, it allows you to be unique in your own way and your babies to have their own like personalities and and styles and stuff like that so yeah it's it's um so it's just one of those things I you know I hear a lot of people like uh, they make it seem like when you get in a silicone baby versus a reborn of it being like so much more intense with the silicone or it's just oh my god I need all this extra stuff you really don't to be honest um it really is not that much more maintenance to a silicone baby than it is reborns. How you handle them may be a little bit more um, careful just because of like they're soft and you don't want to put them on like hard surfaces and stuff like that and you can't really like rough handle them. Um, like a reborn could probably take a little bit more you know rough rough handling as far as i don't know gabby give me a minute to get through recording um yeah um so yeah so it's it's yeah i don't think that it's it's you know all that people make it out to be and i think when i'm nesting for either reborn or silicone it's kind of the same um if I'm really excited about that particular uh, baby, rather it's reborn or silicone, rather it's an, uh, a $500 doll or a $1,500 doll or a $5,000, $10,000 doll, I kind of nest pretty much the same. Um, I don't like particularly be like, oh, this baby costs so much. I'm going to put it in nothing but brand name stuff. Um, I think when I get like, oh, I, I got to put this baby in the best is because of the baby itself like not of the caliber of the baby 
but the connection that I feel with the baby like I feel like this baby like really looks like one of my kids or I really really love this baby because I put a lot of work into this baby or you know it was a struggle getting this one or I've been waiting forever for this one that type of situation will make me kind of go crazy over shopping for a baby so with baby Jaden um like I said if you haven't checked out my blog um on mrrenniesmithbabies.com um you know it just he's he's one of, another one of those babies where I wanted the kid couldn't get the kid then finally you know it wasn't a kid it wasn't going to be a kid it was just going to be an addition doll for the sculptor and then she later decided okay I'm going to offer it some blank kits of my doll and so you know it it's just so I finally got to get him and you know um I you know it was an easy process you know boom 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 order you know nothing no long drawn out you gotta jump hoops and you gotta you know count down and try to race the clock to get one and all that type stuff it was it was none of that and so the whole transaction of purchasing him was you know easy selling um but then you know the process of painting him was kind of like up and down like emotionally like I was like oh my god I think I've ruined him and then it was like okay okay I think he's coming to life and then it was kind of like oh, I don't know what to do with this part you know I, I was I was his lips I was like uh oh, did I mess up with the color of the lips you know it was just like up and out up and out up and out and then in one moment it was just like oh my god and I I would sit there while I was painting while I was painting him, I would sit there sometimes and play with his little feet. I'd be like, oh, look at the little feet. I'll hold his feet in my hand and stuff. And so and that's another reason why I took a lot of pictures of his little feet because I really played with his feet while I was painting him. And I would suggest people do this. But um, for me, I'm a very emotional artist, I think. Um, and I will call myself an artist for <laughs> just because people yell at me like, oh, you are an artist. But um I, I'm very emotional when I'm working and, um, sometimes I get really caught up in, in the phase, but then there's sometimes I get so frustrated because I want this vision of, there's something I want and I cannot quite accomplish it sometimes. And it's just, it, and then I'm like, oh, I'm so frustrated. And it's like, I give up. And then I'll go back to it. And there's a lot of times I feel like I've ruined a baby and it actually worked out. But then there's some time I think I ruined it and I really did. <laughs> um, I remember um, I had this baby and I said, this is a boo, boo baby. And, you know, again, you know, Linda, Birdie's babies, um, she's such an amazing, amazing soul. She was like, I think the baby is just fine. I don't know why you call it a boo baby, but to me, you know, the color was a little, like, not what I was trying to go for. And for me, it was, it was just not my best, best for skin tone. And although I see, you know, a lot of artists doing that skin tone or similar to that skin tone, for me, it's just not one that I like. So I've just, like, beat myself up so bad. Um, I've been working on that a little bit, too um as 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 a painter not being so critical of myself but i i think it's you know like my friend tells me tell me all the time it, it's actually healthy and good that i am a little critical because it keeps me you know um striving to to do better um so yeah so i think i i paint as a as an artist but I also paint as a collector. So I don't know. I just feel like the collector in me helps me get where I want to go because I, I know what I want to see in that that doll. I know what I feel like is gonna, you know, really complement the sculpting on, you know, on, on a particular kid. Um, so therefore I never paint, you know, two babies the same. I never use the same Technique, I, oh, I, I paint with primary colors, so yes, I use 
the same colors over and over again. Um, but yeah, I don't even know how I got into all of this and this video is super long. So I'm going to end it here. There's no baby here. Again, it's just a chat. Um, but stay tuned. There's going to be videos of me, you know, sharing my whole experience. You know, maybe some shopping and maybe, you know, eventually the baby is going to come into these videos. And you guys are going to start seeing little parts of the baby. Me interacting with the baby, that type stuff probably. So, um, and then I'm going to definitely give you guys the full view of Jaden and I hope you guys like him and I hope that doing this don't make it seem like you know since I always fear that like I'm excited about a baby and I'm like hyping everything up about this baby and surrounding this baby and then <laughs> and then you guys see the baby be like this what we was waiting for this mess <laughs> Oh gosh, but you know, hey, it is what it is, but um, I love him. I think he's great. So I'm really excited about him. So I hope you guys be too. So I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, just keep in mind that this is all in fun. Um, don't get too serious and caught up. I may, you know, sound all crazy and be popping my lips and doing all this craziness, but that's just me having fun and role playing. Along with it, it actually, I am actually buying things and doing things um, to prepare for, you know, when Jaden is fully, fully done. Um, because he's like, it's like he's here now, but the real full completed baby is when it really gets real. It's like I, the hats come off. You, you could just really, I could just really, you know fully enjoy him I'm done no more working on him no more gotta put him on the table and cover him up and all this oh it's just that's that's when the real fun begins so I'll talk to you guys later bye bye